Why do pro brewers use Plato? Because they're lazy. <laughs> G'day, I got asked a question as to why pro brewers use Plato instead of uh, specific gravity. You know, the 0 .1, 0.1.050 and things like that. Um, there's many reasons and I've read many books and there'll be different, different books say different things as usual. Um, the usual idea is places like America, uh, when they started brewing, got a lot of info uh, from Europe and a lot of them brewers were using Plato and home brewers started using specific gravity because a lot of the texts that they got about how to brew were actually from books that were printed um, in the UK. Uh, so they used a different system. That'll be in the outtakes at the end. There's many different ways to measure uh, the density of fluid, is, and that's what we're doing with um, specific gravity or bricks or Plato. Um, but there's a, the, one of the oldest one is called balling. Um, but there's, me, there's many other different ways. But home brewers mostly, we sort of hang around or stick to bricks, uh, Plato, uh, specific gravity. And why did I say pro brewers are lazy at the start? Well, it's not that they're lazy. It's just that it's easier and simpler to write on your paperwork, um, and probably harder to make a mistake when you're writing 13 uh, bricks or Plato as compared to you know 1.056 or something, whatever that is, they're not equal. <laughs> I'm just throwing random numbers up. And it also makes calculations quite easy because every one step in Plato is half a percent in alcohol. So say you might have a 10 Plato beer and it ferments down to uh, two Plato, that's a, a difference of eight. Um, if you half that, or divide, or times it by 0.5, uh, which is the same thing, of course, you'll get a 4% beer. It'll be a 4% beer. The other thing it can be used for, one step of Plato is about half a gram of CO2 per litre in beer. So it can be used for carbonation as well, and it just makes the maths really easy. Um, it's easier than the volumes of CO2 that you see uh, may be used in, the, in America. And just before we jump onto the computer, and I can show a few easy equations to remember, uh, when you go into the brewery that you're visiting, and you're, you say you're a, you know, a home brewer, you've been doing it for years, um, and they start throwing Plato at you and you get a bit confused, it's pretty easy. Uh, if they say they had an OG of um, 10, um, 10 Plato, then the original gravity in specific gravity will be like uh, four times. So it'll be about 1.040. Uh, so if you can remember that, um, that, that will help you and, and give you an idea where you are. Uh, before I go along with any more numbers, let's jump on the computer, because it's a bit easier to show you on paper or on the computer screen, uh, and you might understand a little bit more and you'll see how all the numbers match up. So I guess basically what I want to show you first is the differences just on a chart. You can get charts between Bricks, Plato, and G. Um, we'll look at Bricks Plato first. Now, mostly you'll see they're nearly identical. Um, they start sort of varying um, by like one, about one point once you get up to the 19 bricks, but that's a big beers. If you look to the side here, that's like 1082. Um, even if you're a half a degree, you're 1055. So most of the time, you know, we don't really brew beers way up here. I mean, I know we do sometimes. <laughs> But, you know, most of the time for an average beer of anywhere from, you know, um, 1.040 to 1.0, say 60, um, we're pretty close. Bricks and Play-Doh, and that's why we sort of say they're the same. But even though they're not, they're slightly different. So if you want a video and get your numbers totally, totally perfect, this isn't what this video is about. This is about uh, getting a ballpark fitter, figure and uh, why people use them. Uh, but as I said before, you can have a quick look. And most of the times, it's four times. So you've got a bricks here, a reading four, and times four is 16. And you know, that's how you can work it out easily in your head. If someone just throws a number at you, uh, there's a six uh, Plato, and you times that by four. Uh, it's at uh, 24 by um, 0.8. And it's so close to... Um, the 25 that you know you may as well round it um, down or up 25 
So that's where you get you can go four times nine uh, point four, and you know four nines to thirty six, uh, and you got a little bit extra. You're going to go up, but um, you know you're close. You're close enough for when you're doing these calculations in your head of how uh, you know how much alcohol might be in the beer. So I just wanted to show you that first, and so we'll stick just with uh, Plato uh, for today. But yeah, you can see the bricks and Plato are fairly close until you're getting up into huge beers massive beers like you know, there's not many people that brew beers that big i mean i know i know they, it happens sometimes but yeah, not not for your average brew so we can put that aside uh, and we'll just sort of make up a scenario here and i can sort of display uh, show you a little bit further how it works so just here i'll throw in say we've got an a starting gravity of uh, 1.056 and maybe a finishing gravity of 1.012, 56 and 12. So normally you'd throw them into a program, you know, a, a, there's a dozen online or if you've got a program like a brew father like this is or Bear Smith, um, it doesn't really matter. And you could go 1056, your final gravity was 12, and that says 5.8%. So we'll just write that here so we don't forget. 5.8%. You might need to watch this on a big screen. <laughs> but uh, here we go. Here we've got a gravity to Plato calculator. So we use the calculator instead of the that um, list we had, just in case you're, you're trying to be <laughs> accurate. Uh, and so we'll put in the 10, 1.056, and we've got 13.8. there as Plato and we'll put in the and 12 got a 3.06 so that's our specific gravity there and that's the equivalent um, in Plato now I said there was a simple way and if we bring up my pad can have a look and go a 13.8 minus 3.06 we'll just sort of keep it a little bit simple equals 10.74 and we times that by a half 0.5 And that says our alcohol there is 5.37. Now that's a little bit off. You know, it is different. But we'd round that to 5.4. So if we go back over here, we're looking at 5.8. We are 0.4 off. But I mean, it's only 0.4. When we're doing maths in our head and just trying to figure it out and you're on the fly, you know, 0.4 doesn't mean much. There is, as I said earlier in the video, there is, you know, calculators that will do it spot on for you. But we're, I'm just talking about going through your head when you walk into a brewery or someone throws numbers at you or you're on, you know, you're working fast and, you, and you've got to quickly think. These are the easy ways and it'll get you right in the ballpark. So we can say that got us to, yeah, 5.4%. And remember when I said could times by four the Plato to get you a specific gravity and it's the same the opposite way around of course if you've got 1056 so you take the 56 and you divide that by four you've got your 14 there now 13.8 rounded up is 14 so you, you, you're close enough you point two off so we could grab the the, the 12 from the 1.012 we could grab the 12 and divide that by Four. That's three. So we've got the fourteen and three. We could go fourteen minus three. Of course, equals eleven. And then you've got your eleven times point five. You get your alcohol, and we're at five point five. So we're still in that ballpark figure. Is that, is that not too confusing? There's another way you could do it. You could also get the 56 from the 
Then you could minus the 12. You got your 44. Then you got your 44 divided by 4 equals 11. Got your 11 times 0.5. Oops, it's supposed to be 0.5 is your 5.5%. So you're, you're there in that ballpark again. Is that confusing? <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> so the, the main thing to remember is that four, the number four. So when you've got your Plato, um, you might have your 13.8 Plato, you times that by four, going to get you to the 55.2 but you, you read that as 1.0 5 5 and even though we're at looking at 56 we're right there in the ballpark all right let's let's start up let's start over again one more one more just to show you that it works it works with other numbers and that, and that was quite a high number so we'll, we'll go a little bit lower and it gets more accurate to you know when you're around your five percent and stuff like that then we'll go point uh oh four six and we'll say our final gravity was one point oh oh eight i've used easy numbers just so that you know the, the maths is easy we're not dealing with too many uh points and zeros and things now i can chuck that into that calculator again uh where was it alcohol and we can look what the actual will say one oh four six two 1.008 and we've got a 5% percent bit. So what we'll do is we'll whack in the 1.046. That gives us 11.4 rounded up. Not even rounded up, rounded down, rounded up, whatever it is. Um, and then we'll put in our 008 and get our 2.05 we use our maths just to have a look at that we can go 46 divided by 4 equals 11.5 and we're at 11.4 there so we, as i said once you're around that five percent of a normal beer thing it's much closer and we can do that with the other one too so we had uh well eight divided by four equals 2 and we're point two point zero five, and you can see there how accurate it gets you know the more the more you are to that five percent area and lower the more accurate it is so that's really really close and of course you'd go um, 11.5 uh, minus 2 9.5 and we go 9.5 times 0.5 because you get half a point uh half a alcohol uh, percentage alcohol for every one point and you've got a 4.75 now that, that rounds up 4.75 to 4.8 so we're only like 0.2 off that's probably made it sound way more confusing than it actually is um as i said it's like about four times more your, your normal specific gravity is about four times of your Plato, and it's the same, you know, the other way around. You can divide uh, your normal gravity readings uh, by four and get your Plato. And for every two steps of Plato, it's 1% of alcohol. So a 10 Plato starting gravity, a two finishing gravity, got a difference of eight. And you times that by 0.5, or you halve it, um, and you got four, you got a 4% beer. Okay, that's it. I hope that answers some questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Thanks to my patrons. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. But anyway, we're not here to talk hows, whys, and whats. There's a few other different systems, though. Balls. Um, <laughs> balls.